second winner here as we go green for race number two here on the streets of Surfers. Now this is going to be a wild race because we don't have any big accidents. This is going to be three laps wide open green, then into a mandatory competition caution, then three laps again, mandatory competition caution. That'll be the second of two, then four laps to the checkered flag, total of 12 laps. So it's going to be set up to keep this pack tight and be a wild race. Settling through the first turns as Paul Morris will lead us down. So a bit of a change up in our grid from what yeah. we did see on the screen, but does mix it up as we see PJ Jones side by side with Creed at the back. Great to have the second gen racer in the field. His first look at the streets of Surfers Paradise and Bill Hines for World Gym Australia at the pointy end of the field. Sheldon Creed and PJ Jones shown in that red Traxxas number one. PJ Jones in the royal purple number 30. Both side by side off that jump getting all kinds of crooked. So they've got a battle of their own. A lot of fast talent in the back. Bad news for all those guys. Paul the Dude Morris, who is also a talented winning driver in Stadium Super Trucks, he started up front. That's going to be the job to catch Paul and to pass Paul. That's not an easy thing to do. Absolutely not. Not around here. It's his home track. You see the 45 driver change in that after the incident earlier today. Coming down into that sharp right. We switch back to the left hand side here, looking back. Everybody's safely through. Um, the ride act was red this morning. It looks like for a change, they all listen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was it was a riot act to say the least. And then uh, not a driver's meeting, but there was an impromptu driver's briefing <laughs> called just before this race as well, saying, hey, that's Mellow. Wow, well, we got a whole weekend of racing right there. As you see these trucks up on three wheels right there in the Clipsaw 500 truck. That is the Dodson's truck right there, I believe. That is Brad Gillard at the very last minute filling in just a few moments before oh. this race. Oh, now the dude's come in. I did see him waving his hands at the start of the race and indicating to the pit wall as some debris being kicked across the circuit here. So perhaps those issues with the super cheap auto Hungry Jacks entry not entirely cured. And this now moves the 45 up of Brad Gillard, who was scheduled to jump into this truck tomorrow for Craig Dodgers, who was going to be overlapping in the youth's race. He had an incident earlier today. And now Gallard, who is really the, the mind behind it here in Australia, the sure. guy for Renmark, sure. is now leading the race. Now, I, I believe we, we didn't get the whole thing, but I'm pretty confident that's Brad Gillard, that truck who has not had a lap yet. And now he's out here leading the race. Now, keep in mind, Paul Morris, he just pulled into the pit. He needs to get back out in the lead lap. So when we go into this caution, oh. it'll be all right. Oh, Matty Brab, I'm almost in the wall again. The crowd's scattering there. Let's put some pressure on Bill Hines. Oh, it's on again. Oh, back into the chicane. So we've hit the wall. This is exactly what happened last night. Matt Nolan's hood has come loose on the 21 entry. We come to that just as the water barriers just got shoved, so that might bring out this caution again. This is exactly what happened on the same lap yesterday. It very well may bring out the caution, and I was wondering who exactly hit that. Well, I think it's pretty obvious who hit that <laughs> right now. As Matt Nolan's hood is flying off. It looks like they're slowing down. They are going to go into a caution right now. And as we mentioned yesterday, the reason... Well, let me, let me back up what I'm about to say here. First of all, in that chicane area, early in practice, we ran through the chicane in the, in the back section without the jump. It's very cool. It's great. However... There's a lot of fans back there, and they want to see high-flying action. So after a discussion, decided to bring it back. Nolan comes in real hot, not even in the ballpark of being able to make it through there. And uh, so here we are on board right now it's with Price. Toby Price. I believe that is Nolan you know, up in front here. You get a bit of a push here. Gives oh, a little push. Oh, he moves. They bumped. Now they have to give. He gave, you see right there, he gave, Toby gave. When they get to that blue bridge, they have to give way to get into that chicane. You cannot pass through it. Well, Toby Price got there, showing him a wheel. Nolan freaked out a little bit, stayed up on the pipe, and then just ran out of an area to break right there and uh, just ran directly through uh, that chicane. And so now it's going to be interesting. I'm going to say this is most likely going to be our comp caution for the first half of the first part of the race, which is may, may end up taking some laps away from the race, which is, which is sad to say, but that's what happens. These guys are not to touch those chicanes. Nolan's being pulled in right now. He's going to get a stop and go penalty, which is going to put him way to the back of the pack. We are off and running laps three of 12. More than likely, they'll tear the hood off that truck and send him out like we saw with Dontis' truck yesterday. So they've got back underway here, side by side now between Hines and Creed. That's the 45 of Gallard, the Clipsal 500 Adelaide sponsored entry, which we're heading back to for the season opener in 2017. Gallard out in front, behind him, Toby Price. Right now we're on board with Robbie Gordon, flying those Matt Menge colors. Robbie gives a little love tap to Sean Richardson, saying, hey, here I am, give me some space, I'm coming through. They're sideways for Gallard. 
Creed all the way from the back of the pack from starting in 12th position all the way up, I believe, maybe into second place right now. So quick work of the competition in the first three laps for Creed. Across the ramp they go against so many people right there. Jammed in watching the Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks here today. We had a great crowd yesterday, and today they are packed in. Right, what an amazing category. You see right now there is uh, Toby Price. He is in between Sheldon Creed and Robbie Gordon right behind him. Most people are going to freak out in that situation. Not Price. He is so smart about the way he handles himself out here. We saw yesterday Robbie Gordon got in front of him. Then he just started learning. He wrote out the pad, wrote out the pen, started taking some notes, and just toted them around, just like he did in qualifying. He qualified second today behind Robbie Gordon. Now he's going to be watching the lines of Creed. He's going to be feeling some pressure of Gordon. And if he can keep it together like the Dakar champion normally would, this is going to pay it out for him. It's going to help push him to the front. Here comes Creed. So Creed's right in the mix here. 11 wins alone this year in the series. A career tally of 24 in a three-year championship streak. He won the series last year. This is counting towards the overall points, but he could claim the Australian side of things as we come through at the end of lap number three. Big air right there down the front stretch. Two big jumps off that Toyota tire in the Traxxas ramp. Now we're still looking at says Dantas, but I believe that is Brad Gillard and uh, Clips All 500, number 45, Creed Gordon Price. Matty Brabham around the top five. Creed to the inside. Brab, or I'm sorry. Uh, Gillard says, absolutely, come on through. I'm not going to mess with you right now. First time in the truck all weekend long. Nice, smart move. Let's Creed get out in front. Now we've got Robbie Gordon. Gordon has moved up. He is now going to be chasing down Brad Gillard and keeping his eyes set on our leader, which is now Sheldon Creed. Now it's going to be weird to see where are we going in this comp caution. We already had a caution a lap early uh, just a moment ago from uh, Nolan getting into the barriers there. He got a stop and go penalty. So I'm saying we may end up bumping this second caution back a lap or two possibly. Down the inside. Now confirmation, it's Greg Gardner in the 45 oh. now. So Gardner goes back to third as we come back to this shot inside. So the 45 goes back to third and now Robbie Gordon on the charge. Well, that makes a lot of sense for Gardner. Gardner yesterday finishing fourth in yesterday's race. His best, best finish, say, in Super Trucks. Fourth place in this field with this group of guys is an awesome run. Awesome run. So Smiley, the happiest guy in racing, Greg Gardner. That makes sense why that Clipsaw 500 truck is running so well because he's up on the gas this weekend. He's running well and running smart right now. He says, listen, man, let's be honest. I don't have anything for Sheldon Creed right now, and I don't have anything for Robbie Gordon. But I do have something for the rest of the pack back here. So he let those guys go through, keep himself out of a wreck that he shouldn't be involved in. Now he's going to run his own race. That, that's, that's smart racing. It was pretty impressive last year at Sydney Olympic Park in the first ever race he had where he went upside down on the main straight. Won the Pines Enduro 400 in South Australia last weekend. So he's had a good seven days as the Nolan truck just sheds the hood on the Heyman's electrical entry. Heading back down, keeps the engine nice and cool. It's the competition <laughs> caution scheduled to come out now. If it's going to happen, happen in the perfect place. Sheds it off and he continues on. It was almost as if he was hanging on to it right there. Exactly. You see right there, Gartner in the Dantas number 45 truck. Look at that, how awesome it is when they land. So Gartner in board the 45 truck here right now. As the competition caution is out here in the Gold Coast. So, the competition caution about to come to an end here at Surface Paradise in race number two. And the 2015 champ, the 19-year-old from Alpine in California, has the lead. Sheldon Creed and Robbie Gordon about to go at it once again. These two guys, the most successful in the three-year history of this championship. And Gordon aboard the number two truck that we'd normally see Matt Menge in. And Matty is here this weekend, recovering still from that awful incident we had at Detroit earlier this year hoping to see that guy back behind the wheel of this truck in the coming races. I, I feel, I'm feeling very confident. I mean, Matt Menge, he's just an animal. He's a beast. And yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, got, he, he had a horrible, horrible injury and a bad wreck. And, uh, but, but he, of all people, knows, hey, motorsports are inherently dangerous. This is what happened. This is also why I love it, because we're always on the edge. And uh, Menge, man, he is ready to rock and roll. So Creed leads us down to the green flag at the end 
of this competition caution. I'm so happy we got it to the halfway mark because yesterday the win margin was nearly 13 seconds. And this is why we have this to keep it nice and compressed. As here comes Creed and here comes the green flag. Now, nobody knows motorsports pressure more, more than Robbie Gordon. And he has some pressure on him right now. Minge, both Matt and Sheena, the stunts and crew, Castro, Hot Wheels. What they want to see is that right there. They want to see Robbie Gordon in that truck wide open, just like Matt Minge would, and taking the lead away from Shelby Creed as he just did. That was a little bit too easy for me. Some mind games, perhaps. This is Toby Price just muscling Greg Gardner along. He's now amongst the mid-pack, but Robbie Gordon already checking out. And Brabham is up to second. Now we are Gordon, Brabham, oh. and Creed. <laughs> And then you see Toby Price right there getting over into Gardner. Still on. Getting through. Oh, they just get through this chicane. DJ Jones in that royal purple truck coming through, getting a little slick right there. Just missing the chicane, grabbing a handful of steering wheel, making it happen as they drag oh, race no. down this fast section. Concrete, or I'm sorry, contact in between Richardson and Gardner. Richardson running well. Oh, and Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed's broke. Something has got to happen. You do not see Sheldon Creed drop back like this without something very mechanical happening. That was too easy, like I said in the beginning. I saw Brabham go past, and now he's had a moment coming off the backside of the beach. I, I, I'm guessing, and I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, it could be steering again. You know, there's, he thought he lost a steering pump at the same time. It could be, could have been, uh, you know, air in the lines. It could have, could have been a few different, it could have been the steering rack itself. And without having time going from practice qualifying right into this race and not much time, you don't have time to change everything and troubleshoot it. So uh, they, they kind of, you know, threw it up in the air and shot at it and hopefully they fixed the problem. But maybe that was, that's still the issue with steering. This is not what he wanted, what a cool shot that is looking from the grandstand here at Surface Paradise. That's not good news for Creed, but it's excellent news for Matt Brabham now because these two guys are battling out for the championship. I believe we're somewhere only like, like 51 points, which seems like a lot, but there's still some racing left to go this season. Stadium Super Truck <laughs> is on board right now with Toby Price. Toby Price trying to chase down Sean Richardson. Sean Richardson, no joke this weekend. He started off right off the bat. They went, shoot, I don't know, 10 seconds into the first practice session, and he went over the first jump, spun out sideways. Said, oh boy, it might be a long weekend for Sean, but <laughs> not at all. He has grabbed hold of what, what he needs to do in his SSDs. And Ironhead out of the UK, man, he's up on the gas and looking good. Second time out. Townsville now here, so you gotta expect big things from him. He's done amazing stuff and a big career that spans 30 years. He started in grass track racing back in the 80s over in Europe and South Africa. Spends most of his time on a plane if he's not here <laughs> or in Charlotte or in the UK. You never, know, you never know where you're going to see the guy. Exactly. Pops up at an airport at any time. Here's Matt Nolan getting some serious air time over the back there at the Virgin Australia chicane. Got the hood off. He got in the chicane earlier on. Now the hood is off. And you can see when he hit the chicane, look at the mounts from the front bumper, the aluminum mounts. They're made to give so the actual bumper doesn't get wrecked. So just getting that plastic hat was a lot of pressure to bend those mounts up. Amazing machines, these Traxxas trucks that were modeled off the remote control trucks. Bit of a reversal to what we'd normally do now, with model cars. See PJ Jones yesterday, PJ Jones finished in second place in a press conference. He said, he's like, hey man, back in like 93, 94, I raced here in IndyCar, man. I've been here before, I used to love this course. Sean McCreed says, yeah, I was born that year. <laughs> so, pretty funny uh, press conference, but uh, PJ Jones, granted the track was longer than went further into town, uh, but, but a similar course and he loved it then and he loves it now. Had a list of great drivers. Oh, here's Matty Brabham. Yeah. Trying to add to the highlights reel of yesterday. Is it, it's almost like they just pulled from yesterday's high rate and pulled him in here right now with our V-Heat media team doing such an amazing job getting these shots. That is a wild ride for Matty Bravo, man. He's going to have the longest neck in history one day. He's going to wake up <laughs> 35. The neck will be three foot tall oh. as now Richardson gets a shove from the Dakar champ. And this allows PJ Jones to get into the mix. Ball from sneaking through there. It's almost like Toby said, hey, hey, enough of this, enough of this. Let me give you a little that. Get out of my way and uh, let me move up forward. And it gave enough room for PJ Jones to get through as well. Someone else has tagged the chicane. I'm wondering if that was caught by uh, USAC to cam up the race control. Someone might be getting uh, assessed a penalty as well. He's been getting a knock around since practice yesterday morning. They come down off the beach side. So Price. Battle marks on here. There's PJ Jones oh. locking. Is he stopping? Was he getting going? There's an issue with the Royal Purple Racing Oils. We've seen a, a list of great drivers behind the wheel of that truck this year. We had Ari Lion Dyke Jr. We had Davey Hamilton have a steer. We also had Robbie, Robbie Pierce, Pierce behind the wheel. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of great drivers near up. Oh, Richardson too far to the inside right there. Price, it's hard to see if he was as well. It looks like Price, say, the outside. 
So Bryce, maybe that's why Bryce gave him that bump. And said they, they were told, hey man, if you cheat that too much, all four tires are in there, you gotta, not, you can't gain ground. You can't gain any speed, you can't gain any ground. You gotta give that back. Richardson maybe didn't, and, and so Toby Price said, well, since you had it, I'm just gonna take it from you. You see him here go through that quick chicane there, go to the front stretch, go over the Traxxas ramp, the fastest name in radio control, that is Traxxas. Exactly what these trucks are modeled after. Then to that Toyo tires ramp as well, which are the tires on every one of these trucks, front and rear DOT tires. DOT in the States means you buy these tires, put them on your truck, the exact same ones they're racing here. So get the power to the ground with these Toyo tires as we're on board right now. Oh, Richardson, a little smoke coming off his tires right there. But they're very strong, tough tires. Oh. They, they cop a punishment around here and they still stand the test. Well, we, ju we just raced uh, the same exact tires last weekend in Mexico, in Baja, Mexico, for the Mike's Peak Hill Climb Challenge and uh, running through cactus and the desert and rocks and everything. No flats, no issues. Now they're here on the asphalt running again. So, uh, so a, a great product they're putting out. Right now, a lot of attention on Richardson. Richardson been running well. Great racing going on with a positive automotive, positive trailers truck. Uh, Richardson definitely getting faster and faster every time he gets into one of these. Back to the lead as we go. Matty Brabham with three wins so far in this year's Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks. Robbie Gordon with just the one win that came at Townsville earlier this year. Brabham knows there's a championship on the line. They come down into the little chicane to come past the starters point once again. Well, Brabham's going to want to get the passing points. Look at them, 10 deep on the fence there. Waffle bellies <laughs> pushed up against the fence. You see, Brabham, he wants the passing points. He wants the winning points. He needs to get as many as he can because he knows, hey, Creed's out, man. I don't see him in my rear view mirror, so he must be gone. So Creed's out. I need to get all the points I can. What's he got for us? Gordon looks good here, though. They come down to turn number four on the final lap. So we've gone a couple laps short here as Gordon gasses it out of turn number four past the packed house. Oh, and as Jones has come to a stop, that truck was limping. And now he's waiting for the lead guys to go past and perhaps follow them around towards the checkered flag or maybe just to push it back behind the wall because that's Get the pitch the just way. back there. Absolutely. Right now, the Mingay Racing Team, Stunts Inc., Hot Wheels, Castro Edge Racing Team looking really good with that number two Mingay truck piloted by Robbie Gordon right now. You know both uh, Matt and Sheena and the whole team, they are up on their toes right now cheering on for this win. As Robbie Gordon up on three, pushing it really hard. Jones still limping across the track here, and Price just wandering past at a very pedestrian-like pace. Yeah, well, that, that was kind of odd there, but it's kind of hard. You got to get around Jones, figure out, hey, what, what's going on with him? Why is he parked there? What is the deal? Meanwhile, way out in front right now is Gordon and Brabham. I don't know if Brabham has anything for Gordon here. I mean, we're coming to the very end. Now, you see how sideways and how much smoke is coming off the tires there in Gordon's truck? He's no longer being serious. Yeah. He's just messing around right now, having fun. So uh, we're getting ready to come to the checkered flag, Matt Nolte. And this will be an emotional moment, though. He's gone through an amazingly hard time, Robbie Gordon, the past couple of months, and he wins his second race of the year here on the streets of Surface Paradise. And that will be a massive weight off his shoulders. As he waves to the crowd. He's been here before. He's ran really well in IndyCar years ago, running really well in his very own uh, Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks presented by Traxxas. So a uh, great run for the Hot Wheels Castro Edge team with Robbie Gordon up on top in the number two Mingay truck behind him, Matty Bravo in P2. Sean Richardson looks like unofficially in P3, a top three for Sean Richardson. How exciting is that? Toby Price, it looks like it's going to be Bill Hines rounding out the top five. So great finish for Bill Hines. Excellent finish for Richardson. And to see yeah. uh, to see Robbie Gordon back up on top of the box, that doesn't hurt either. No, exactly right. Gives Matty Brabham a good chance tomorrow at the championship wise. He'll crunch the numbers overnight. He finishes second behind Robbie Gordon in race number two here. Richardson, his career best effort. Toby Price, same to him. Then we go back to Bill Hines, Sheldon Creed, and Matt Nolan, and a list of DNFs right behind, including PJ Jones, right down to Morris, who got one lap in.